Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is Eileen with Unique Gifts and Decor by Lady Die. It is still Sunday, you guys. Happy Sunday to everybody again. I'm hoping you guys got some rest in today. I hope you got some word in today. And I just hope you did something for yourself today. I know I keep telling you guys, we always are always there for everybody else. And sometimes we forget about ourselves, but sometimes even on the weekend, I know we have a lot of chores and different things we got to do, but we just need to take time, you guys, and do a little self-care. And you might not have a lot of time to do that, but I'm telling you, 15 minutes to 30 minutes, just resting your brain. And I mean, resting, I mean, taking a walk, not thinking about anything that you've got to deal with. Just kind of go out, take a uh, look at nature, see what things God has created. Just bask in that atmosphere. If it's not hot and if it's too hot, don't go out there like that. Or you can sit on your porch or just go in another room and just relax. You know, we all have got to regenerate ourselves, re-energize ourselves. I can think that's the word I'm needing to say. Because if we are drained, then we are no good to anybody else. So you all just do some mental um, therapy for yourself. It doesn't take much. I know we are all busy. And sometimes I get that way too where I get so busy that I said, I can't get this done. I can't do this. But I I kind of waste time, to be honest, where I could be you doing something self-care for myself. So if we're too busy to do something for ourselves, y'all, it's we're just too busy. And nobody is that busy where you can't take out time now to take yourself. Because sometimes we can prevent a lot of things from happening, you know, because if you're stressed out all the time and everything, that's not good on your health. Um, you know, if you don't take time out to drink a lot of water or eat healthy foods, that can hinder your body down the road. So we're just going to start being proactive, okay? We're not going to be reactive. We're going to be proactive, okay? So enough said about all that. I just want to show you guys some concepts. These are the last concepts that I'm going to put together. I have some mugs that I have started on, but um, went in the garage and saw these waffle makers, and I'm like, Lord Jesus. <laughs> So let me start from the beginning here, you guys. We got these waffle makers last January. Um, somebody posted something about Walmart. Walmart had a waffle makers for a dollar on clearance. Nice waffle makers, you guys. I think I got 50 some um, during January, and I blessed one of my subscribers with some. Plus, I've got some still left in my garage. So I might have about maybe 12 left. So y'all, I know, don't judge me. Okay. But anyway, I'm going to use these uh, few items, not very many, you guys, this a uh, waffle maker as well here. Now we got these bowls from the Dollar General last year. Okay. Um, they were the green dot. Oh, oh, excuse me. They're the green dots, you guys. And as you can see, the original price was $6. I got this at the 90% off, which was 60 cents for these bowls. I've used some previously on other concepts. I think I did some in the Christmas concepts last month. But I think I have about eight more left. So after I'm using these three here today, I've got five more left. So... Yeah, I am, but I am going through this inventory as fast as I can. Also, we got these um, dish towels from Dollar General last year. Okay, they did come in the red and white and the blue and white, and then they have this other color here, which is the dark blue and white. So, um, I think I think these are the last ones that I have. I have these two that are left, so I'm, I'm using these in this concept today. Okay. So let me show y'all what I've come up with so far. So this is the concept that I've come up with with using the waffle maker. Um, I do have some uh, mixing spoons or whatever you want to call those cups from the Dollar Tree. Okay, got my little pumpkin in there. I did um, add this red and white dish towel here. And I got some, um, this soap, it's hand soap. Um, I got from the Dollar General last year. I have a white spatula here, and I topped it off with one of my roses from Timu. 
and I did also put some shred on the sides here. So basically I end up putting the contract paper inside here first, then I put my tissue paper on top and then I added my shred and then I added the items on top. So very easy concept to put together. So this is the one with the red and white um, dishcloth here. Okay, and this is the same concept here with the dark uh, blue and white um, towel. And it's just the same uh, concept. Only thing is the pumpkin is a white pumpkin here. Now, I've got a lot of these Hope Anchors the Soul mugs, okay? And here is the mug here, okay? And it was originally $4 at the purple dot. I think I got them at the 90% off. So this was maybe 40 cents, or I might got some when they were a penny, you guys. These been sitting back on my shelf in my garage. So I have about 12, maybe 12 of these. So I'm not sure if I should add this to the concept or should I not. I can definitely use these mugs somewhere else, but I'm not sure, sure if it's going to... Um, Take away from it without it. I mean, I think it looks fine without it. And then here it is with it. So I'm at, I'm gonna get you all do a poll and let me know which one of y'all think. Should I add the cup or should the mug, excuse me, or should I not? And here's another one that I also did with the light blue dishcloth, okay? So they're all the same concepts with the waffle makers. I just kind of put some little kitchen items together. I don't have that many kitchen items left, which is good. So I thought I could do four, but I didn't have one of these baking, uh, the measuring cups. I only had three, so I was going to do four. So I was not going to go out and get another one. You know, we'll just use some, we we'll use the concepts on something else. So you guys, let me know what you think, um, about this concept. Very easy, simple to put together, um, using very basic items waffle maker, pasta bowl, two dish, a uh, dishcloth, excuse me, maybe the mug, um, definitely a uh, hand soap, spatula, basically, um, and the measuring cups. I mean, I, I don't know. I'm debating y'all because I like, I like it like that, you know, um, and once I wrap it up real good and I guess this would be okay too with the mug. Or I can concentrate on doing something else with the mugs. You know, I don't know, you guys. I, I guess I'm getting a little tired because I don't know what... <laughs> I don't know what to do. Now, y'all usually know Eileen knows what to do. But right now, I'm a little stumped, but I need you guys' assistance, okay? Should I add the mug? Because they're nice mugs. Or should I not? Okay, subscribers, you all let me know because I love you guys' opinions. Also, let me know how much I should price it. Should I pr price it? Show me, you guys, should I price it without the mug? Give me a price on that one. And if I do add the mug, give me a price on that one, okay? How much you all think I should charge, okay? Because you guys are my experts this month, okay? I appreciate all of you all's advice and help on this matter. So, you guys, I am done for the evening. Thank you guys for watching this video. Please like, share, comment. To the next video, you guys definitely, definitely be blessed. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye.